my salon is Sissy Salon. I graduated high school in 1985 and knew that I wanted to do hair and Cherokee Nation had a program for me that I could be enrolled in beauty school. It was called the Tulsa Academy of Hairstyling. It doesn't exist anymore. It was on 11th and Yale. I decided to go. They paid me a stipend. They paid for the school. They paid for my uniforms. It was a perfect setup. I look back at even getting the opportunity. It was through a very strong Cherokee woman who was my school teacher and a mentor of mine, Patsy Lynn Morton. She was on the council years ago. She was my teacher. She took an interest in encouraging me to be anything that I wanted to be. And because of her, I was able to get involved in the uh, program through Cherokee Nation that funded me. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. If it wasn't for Cherokee Nation, I wouldn't have my business today. I did work a couple of other little places, but the great experience that I had was with three other ladies that became sisters and we worked together for over 22 years and uh, raised our kids and uh, just became a big family. But I had always had a dream to um, have my own place and I had a place open up that was going to be perfect. It was just a salon, you know, a salon suite, pri working privately, um, being able to tend to my clients the way I'd always wanted to, um, and it actually ended up being a perfect setup because then COVID happened. That was a scary moment for me because I was thinking, how am I going to make it? I mean, how are the bills going to get paid? How is this going to work? But um, after eight weeks of being shut down, um, it seemed like I ended up with more than enough. I don't even know how to explain it. it. I know that it was the Lord taking care of me. One thing that happened during COVID is watching community come together because I've always practiced if the Lord tells me to gift somebody, to gift them with a haircut or a hair color or whatever, and that happens often. But what was really unique during COVID was that my clients sent money for me. They sent gifts to me. They paid me ahead of time. And I wrote everybody's name down and was able to thank them and appreciate them afterwards. But I thought that was really cool that, um, and I'm grateful. It was humbling to have that happen, but um, it was really, really nice. Once everything opened back up, I um, was back at work and my stepmother called me. And uh, <laughs> she told me that there was a lady from Oklahoma City trying to get a hold of me and she needed me to answer my phone. I asked Joyce why and she started saying, congratulations and I was like what did you do <laughs> and she said well I may have entered your story in the Oklahoma Living magazine and I was like oh gosh okay okay and it ended up being you know something that I wouldn't have volunteered for but it was really an awesome opportunity to share my story it was about surviving COVID in small business and how we keep, you know, keep our business alive and going. And uh, I was also able to share a little bit about my family, but I didn't know when it happened that I was gonna be on the cover.